presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Lord, this guy is as smart as a whip. I'm I am so happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he calls it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yes, yes. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make them a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a what? A key and a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 26, NASDAQ up 28, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract up $12.80, trading at 2,554 an ounce. We have silver up flat, $29.33 an ounce. Late sweet crude down a buck 13. $77.27 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, trading up four ticks. 110.27, 30 year up six ticks at 118.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 140 ticks, trading at 104.455. Euro 108, yen trading at 155. British pound at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, we've had to hit. Let's just go to the VIX first because everything has slowed down dramatically. And so 1443, we're hitting. We're at 1443. It goosed up to 17. Like 14 is just not volatile. Now let's go to the E-minis. This is going to get interesting coming into the close here because what you've had is this. You've had a couple big sells, and I suspect it's the same person, or same fund, whatever. Do you know what I mean? If the first sell came in at uh, 1040 this morning, second sell came in at uh, 1220. Now, the real question is, they're going to nail it again. You know, on, in each one of those, you talk about, uh, uh, so, let's see, it was 20. Yeah. That second sell, that was 18 S&P points in about a heartbeat. We go to the NQs. You're going to see the same type of setup. So the real question here is, is that do they nail it one, one more time coming into the close? Now, I suspect that it, our probabilities are pretty good that they will. Nothing heavy, but that they'll get that way. The reason I'm saying that is that the last bounce that we got just almost did a 50% bounce. The one prior to that, we went to highs. So we'll see how that one's going to shake out. Let's go to the oil market. So, the, so oil, and you can see that, you know, so the oil contracts are month by month, folks, okay? So when you do jump contract months, which we did, you can see how big it gets. Because we've just gone, you know, from two weeks ago up at this 83 or at 77, and... We get down to 76.40. Yeah, you get volume down. On, so, I mean, we, if we break the 75.80, then that's going to be game all the way down to this uh, $72 again. You know, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here, you get... Uh, Arm Holdings is up 5%. CrowdStrike is up 3.5%. 
You get Charter Communications up 2.6, Amazon's up 2.4. Pace car. That's down 10, 11%. Holy cow. Some of these are whacking big time. Pace car down 11%. And XPI down 8.5%. On semi down 4.4. If we go to NXPI, you know, check this out, man. Because this, we take this and I put this on a much longer basis. So what you see in here, you went to an all-time high and then gave it up in spades. Interesting. Uh, hit 296. Now we're at 259. I suspect it's going to 239. And we'll see what happens there. That's where it broke out of. You know, you get a failure like this. You know, you basically break out and you get toasted. On the way back, you're going lower, man. And most of the time, you go right to the breakout area. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, Dow's up 47. Taken away from it is McDonald's, Disney, CVX, Visa. Putting juice into it is Boeing. That's putting a positive 52 points. Goldman, 42. You got Amazon, 29. Let's go to Amazon, because Amazon... And it probably has something to do with, oh, I, I see, okay, so no, Amazon's up four bucks, but the bottom line, it just came down from 201, hit a low two days ago of 180. We got some decent volume on this. We'll see whether it can keep going. We'll go take a look at the uh, gold contract. There's not enough juice in the gold contract here, man. 56,000 contracts. This thing should be banging out a lot more than that. So I see this as a, a bounce, but the consolidation on this is still in play. We've been in this consolidation now since April 12th. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. It's dealing with 37.47. So we came down Friday with some volume. Friday we had 22 million. Yesterday you go higher with 15. Now oh, check this out. So today you're going with six? I don't think so, man. Yeah. That's, that's basically saying to me that uh, there's still gonna be pressure there. And the thing that's intriguing, of course, is that you have the dollar you know, the dollar's up today, but the dollar, you know, that, that baby, that fired off downtown in a monster way with conviction, you know. And in order to get in the higher range, the dollar would have to be, you get the 105, 300 area. And we're at 104, 455. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 45. You get the Nasdaq up 37. S&Ps are up two and a half. We have the gold contract up 14. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until August 1st, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and they never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus from purchasing Tiger Dollars, now is your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until August 1st. So lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industries right now trading up 28. You get the NASDAQ up 24. S&Ps are flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, we got a great little surprise for you today. Uh, bottom line is that Basil is going to be doing a workshop for his subscribers from 4 to 5.30 today, right after the show. And it's very easy to be a subscriber to the opening call, folks. You just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right the featured content. You hit the subscribe button. Bottom line is that you can... Where am I? There I am. You hit the subscribe button. You can get the daily uh, newsletter on a monthly basis for $149. You can get it on a six-month basis for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of... $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And, of course, Basil's going to be live from 4 to 5.30. We're going to talk to our man right now, and we'll find out exactly what he's going to be teaching. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. Good. Yeah, this is exciting because uh, I usually I like to time these uh, webinars. I don't have them very often through the year, but when I do, I like to time them when I'm looking at one particular sector starting to run out of energy and another one's taking over and that's yes. the same thing with stocks. So if you look at the Dow chart that I show right here, okay. it had a round number 41,376.00 round number all time high. Amazing that it could have that round number. That was a clue to say we should have a bit of a pullback. So we've pulled back and unlike some of the other indices, we haven't we haven't added to this yet. We are long, but we, we haven't added to the long position. But we're rotating, and we've been very impressed with the IWM, the Russell 2000. So what I'm talking about is that in the Russell, it was this long base. And before it broke out, I drew all these patterns. I'll be discussing this afternoon. And then we, broke, we went along, and we broke out to the upside. But because there's a rotation going on, and uh, the semiconductors, the tech sector – they're just taking a well-earned breather. They were fantastic leaders, and they just need a timeout. Money always likes to flow where it's treated best. And I think that we're looking at certain areas that are right now acting very well. And in a sense, I don't really want to say the IWM has taken on a leadership role on a very short term over the past week. Certainly it has had a most spectacular gain last week, one of the best it's had in decades. But most importantly... 
I think that money is just starting to flow into this uh, small cap sector, and that's going to be very important. So we added to our position, it's doing very, you can see right here, it's doing very nicely. Yes. Even more important, look at that monthly chart, look at that beautiful cup formation, and we've broken into rare earth territory because we haven't been in this area since back in mid-2021. So it's really important for the month to close out strongly. We'll see if that's going to happen. So what I've done, I've got uh, in my webinar that's coming up. So it's for subscribers, it's free to subscribers if you are a subscriber. And it's very easy to join. And uh, Tom just told you how to do that. Basically, we're called sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle. I'll be going through the sectors. I, I'm not going to spend too much time on what I think is weak and is taking a breather. I'm looking at what's exciting, where money seems to be flowing, what we have, certain patterns that we've been talking about for a while. You know, I spoke to you about the uh, stalk leg formation. Yes. We did everything that we discussed. Yes, Microsoft, which we've been long since 338. It did this pattern where I drew it in with the leg, the body, the neck, and the beak. That's called the stalk leg formation. Um, and it went right to the target between uh, 433 and 431. It went to a round number, like the Dow had a round number at its recent top. So Microsoft had a round number at this recent bottom, 432.00. That concludes the beak, and the rule of thumb for the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation is once the beak is concluded, there's usually a strong rally, and then you're on your own. So we've got this rally. We added to, to our position, got this very strong rally, took some profits this morning, and what happens next is going to be important. we got the same thing with core mining. It did exactly what we were talking about. We've been long. It broke out, and it pulled back to just under 605 for the beak. And it hit that level, and it's had a really good, strong rally. It's at 651 right now. This is a silver stock. So these are the patterns we'll look at. And we'll also look at, you know, in the rotational sector, what is worth looking at, even if they're at recent highs. Because if you look at some of the monthly charts, some of these stocks that have had a good gain, look, even the IW, uh, even the, um, what was I looking at? The, yeah, stocks like we don't have this right now. But you look at stocks that was absolutely spectacular, like uh, Shopify, 176 back in November of 2021. Actually, it's split, but it was uh, a split is 176, went down to 23. And you can see it's had a really good rally, and yet it's way off the 176 level at 63. So I'm going to be looking at stocks like this and say, where would we want to be looking at it if we wanted to go long? And what is the potential? And is it possible for some stocks like this, not this one in particular, but in this category, the small cap category, are there stocks that are really ready for a decent rally, regardless of what the big caps do? So that's going to be uh, quite exciting. And folks, it's very easy to come into the workshop. Okay, we're going to we're, we're deal. You're going to deal with this workshop in 35 minutes, which is a beautiful thing. So come on over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit that button. Not only going to get a, a great newsletter, you're going to get a great education for an hour and a half. And as Basil says, the bottom line, markets keep changing, man. That's the bottom line. So we'll and see how this... Is a very, this is a very functional one. Usually I have a lot of charts, a lot of... This one is pure. I'm, I'm looking at the charts, looking at the stocks that we're interested in and saying these are the areas that we are looking at to buy or we're already in them and we want to add to them. So it's going to be very practical and very, uh, I think, hopefully beneficial. But uh, it is going to be a beneficial period. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. We all look forward to the workshop at 4 o'clock, Basil. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank I'll you. See you tomorrow. And so that's 4 o'clock, folks. Real easy. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to see right under featured content. You hit that button. And remember, it's all everything's archived, too, folks. So, so the bottom line is if for some reason you can't make it, 4 to 5.30, guess what? It's going to be archived. You can go over it as many times as you like to really get your head wrapped around as to what Basil is thinking of this market at this particular point in time. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got uh, Tesla's off a couple bucks. You got uh, Marathon Digital off a couple bucks. We have uh, CrowdStrike doing a dead cat bounce. That's up eight bucks. Amazon's up four. You have, uh, oh, UPS. Yeah, well, check this out. So this is pretty intense. Take a look at UPS. I mean, this is, put this back.
I'm going to put this on a 15-year monthly, and you're going to see comes back to a breakout area. This is like crazy how these stocks just love coming back to a breakout area. So in UPS's case, we're at 126.32, and the breakout area actually starts at 112. You know, it looks to me at this point that, uh, yeah, you know what you're going to have here? You're going to have a large ABC down, actually. 81. Yeah, we're going to, one second. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to have the volume. So this is going to be, let's see, 192. You got uh, 60, 57. Well, it's a big one. A 57, it's not going to load. I got about 105. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 45. Nasdaq's up 32. S&Ps are up 2. Let's go to our man, Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Jose. Come on, I know you're there. Nope. 
Is he there? Oh, no. Okay, cool. Okay, let's let's uh, that's a beautiful. Well, we go from one. We don't kid around here. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D hyphen Oracle dot com. That's Ord hyphen Oracle dot com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Yeah, uh, we're entering into the kind of s summer doldrums here. Yeah. Uh, I know. Not, I'm not, not a lot digging it. Not a lot going going on, but uh, we, can, we can kind of look at the bigger picture on the S&Ps. Okay. That sounds uh, good to me. Not a lot to say there, but okay. uh, 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 chart one, uh, the bottom, this is the uh, monthly S SPX uh, VIX ratio on the bottom window. Yes. And so we're, th this trading month so far is higher than last trading month. So we're making higher highs on the SPX, but if you notice the uh, SPX fixed ratio, the bottom window, we're making lower highs. So we do have a divergence there. Uh, we got still six days or the market, I see month ends next Wednesday. Yes. So we've got about a week to go. Um, and it's most likely that divergence is probably going to carry through. And these monthly divergence normally last at least a month. A lot of times, a couple, three months, and sometimes even longer. If you notice back in October 2021, you know, that decline lasted you know, you know, almost a year. So, yes. anyhow, it's, 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 it's a sideways market probably for the next several months. And uh, actually, to support that idea, if you flip to chart two. Okay. Uh, we talked about this chart uh, a week ago. Right. But, uh, anyhow, the top window is the uh, daily RSI for the SPX. When it gets above 80, normally that's never the last high because if you get that much momentum to the upside, it's, it's never the final high. A lot of times you'll have consolidations, and that's what we're probably having here before it hits new highs. Sometimes the consolidations last at least a month to up to three months. Uh, so the bottom window is the National Association of Active Investment Managers Exposure Index. Right. So so it shows the managers what they're doing. Back on July 9th, they were had exposure in the market of over 100 almost 104%. So they were on margin 4%. So that's kind of euphoria, I guess you might say. Yes. So you got two things going on. You got uh, the RSI saying you are going to make higher highs. But you got the exposure index that's probably going to flip the market sideways. So you got a sideways market, and after the sideways is done, you'll hit new highs. So, well, and you know what's interesting here, Tim, about the National Association of Active Investment Managers? Like when you look at this chart, folks, okay, you know, Tim has that red line going across the very top of it. And, you know, I understand, you know, the, the way we're flipping sideways into a consolidation. That being said, every time that this actually comes in, you get uh, you know you get a little downdraft here, man. I mean, compared to where we are right now on this coming back, it looks to me like every time that that hits it, you go a lot lower than <laughs> than we are right now. Yeah, I, I'm thinking we are too. I don't know. Uh, uh, actually, we can let's go to let's go to chart three and figure out where can we go. Okay, cool. I got uh, it. Yep. Yeah, so this is kind of a, just a small snapshot, and this thing will change as time goes forward. But I didn't put it on here, but the trend yesterday closed at 1.24. And if you look at the trend today, we're at 1.27. And we've been holding, you know, 1.2 to 1.3 all day today. Yes. So probably we're going to close in that vicinity. Right. You know, because it's pretty stable. Yeah, I have 1.3 so right 1. now. Yep. Well, yeah, we got 1.24 yesterday, so we do close above 1.2 today. Even though volume's light today, or it was light yesterday, it's going to be probably as light as again today, kind of eyeballing it here. Yes. Maybe. Uh, but, you know, volume's going to be lighter compared to the previous downdraft. Downdraft, that's kind of extreme, but compared to the down last week. If you look at the volume down last week, you know, that was a big jump in volume to the downside. Yes, it so was. To me, that was a, yeah, so that was a sign of, of a weakness. 
So now we're trying to rally back. And we've got the trend on the close kind of helping that rally. So I think we're going to get back to where the gap is, up around that 560. Um, and we're so at 554 thinking, right now, folks. Okay, cool. Yep, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, so the only reason why, because you got the trend uh, kind of high here. So that's probably going to push the market up to that gap. And so, you know, if you test the gap on lighter volume, at least 10% of lighter volume, the gap will be resistance. You already have the force to the downside of last week's decline. So I'm thinking this is upside consolidation for another another decline. And so uh, and I got a blue, uh, kind of a blue shaded area there. I see that. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Yes, I do. Yeah. So you, you got a lot of trend readings. I'll listed trend readings all in that area. And you know, they're like anywhere from 1.19 all the way up to 1.82 all in that vicinity. And so once you get panic in a region, normally when you go back into that region or price level, you get panic again. And if we do get panic again in that region, most likely that's going to be a support area. So I, I'm, I think it's a kind of a garbage market. So very short term, I think we probably get to 560. That's going to be resistance. Then we may fall back down to 540. If we get panic in there, the market may bounce back up again. And so I don't think we're, we're heading for a 10% decline here. I think the most you're going to get from high to low at worst is 5%. You know, and it's, I think from the last high down to that 540 area, it comes in around 4 4.5%. I have to go back and look at it. But Yeah, it, it is amazing, so. Tim, that on all the pullbacks that we've really had for the you know the past year, year and a half, they've been... The panic has come in the market really quick, man. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, you're down like 30 S&P points, maybe maybe 40 or 50 folks. But all of a sudden it's like, hold it, this is the end of the world. And as Tim has been explaining to us, well, if people think it is, guess what? We know it's not. And, and then you're going back up. So it's, yeah, you're going back up. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's, that's true. Matter of fact, you know, if you look at those, uh, the down period we had last week, you had that, uh, there was no trend readings on that decline of any significance. I know. That so was that's... crazy. Right. I know. Stay right there, Tim. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 21, NASDAQ up 21. How about that? S&P's down one and a half. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. 
TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a prowl on us out here. We have the Dow down nine, NASDAQ up eight, S&P's off six and a half. And I have the third chart up here, Tim. Yeah, so another thing, uh, the bottom window is a VIX. Yes, and I was going to I was going to talk a little bit about the VIX, but when the VIX accelerates really fast, I, I do an RSI of uh, just an RSI on it. And I think I do a uh, rate of change, a two or three period rate of change. But anyhow, I had an indicator that had three uh, measures of velocity of the VIX, and when that market went down, let's say Tuesday, be last Friday, all three of those indicators hit bullish levels. In other words, the VIX went up too fast. Okay. So, and that kind of predicted that the market would bounce this week. Yes. And so far it has. So I, I didn't show that indicator because, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't think we'd have enough time to cover it. But anyhow, the VIX right now, because it went up so fast, because the market went down so fast last week, so I, I still think we can possibly get to that 560 gap. And especially with the trend today, you know, holding up 1.3 right now, and yesterday's 1.24. I think even though volume's not behind it, we'll probably get to that upside gap 560. Then, then from there, you know, it's you got volume to the downside, light volume to the upside, and we'll maybe hit that 5 540 area. Now, 540 area, I don't think it's going to be a long term bottom. I think you'll just bounce again, and maybe this whole thing is sideways trading range for the next several weeks is what I'm thinking. Yeah, because so. it's, there's no doubt that, you know, that's uh, a small trading range, you know. I mean, because yeah. when, we're, when we're dealing with, you know, 5,600 on the, you know, S&Ps, uh, and, and what what is so cool, folks, if you actually look at it, you know, trading ranges, I mean, that just looks like a solid trading range, Tim, too, also, you know what I mean? Particularly because those, those trend readings came out so dramatically as soon as we got close to it. It's like, okay, man, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, so, it, but, but, you know, if, even if you do a Fibonacci relationship from the June low up to, you know, that July high, I didn't do a Fibonacci on this chart, but I bet it's around 38.2% retracement. If we hold that going all the way into, say, September, you know, you only do a 38.2% a retracement sideways trading range. That would definitely be the halfway point of the next move up, if not even more than that. that That's would, strong. Yes. If the market can't really pull back, it means the market's really strong. Right. So, no, the, that we'll is strong. We'll have to see that happen. That's conjecture. So. No, no, I but, know. Uh, I, well, what ends up happening, we know what happens in the summer. In the summer, you know, the bottom line, things get sloppy, things get slower. Until they don't. <laughs> yeah, until, yeah, until they, you're right. When it gets too quiet, you know, look out. Yeah, exactly. Drop a bomb exactly. On it. Yeah, so, there's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to chart four. Okay, I have it. Yeah, it's kind of like a repeat. We talked about this May 31st. This uh, The bottom indicator is a monthly cumulative advance, no, monthly up down volume uh, for GDX. Next window higher is the uh, cumulative advance decline for GDX on May 31st. You know, we talked on your show. Yes. If you get it past that mid Bollinger band, you're in for a multi uh, year rally because the previous times this has happened, you got, you know, a year and a half, sometimes three years, you know, market advances, market declines. So this is a big move that's going to last, you know. How, 
So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to at least last into next year, you know, probably late next year. Uh, so I don't know. But anyhow, it, you'll see some solations along the way. But in general, there'd be nothing like we've been going through. So I I just want to repeat that, you know, the, the monthly charts are on a buy signal. Yes. So a uh, slip to chart. Uh, the, chart five. You know, what, what's so, interesting, Tim, is that the, the gold market, it, you know, we know that's always challenging. You know, the gold contract itself couldn't take out those highs. That being said, though, the GDX has only backed out slightly, which is kind of cool. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, you know, you, you figure that the contract itself, we're trading 24.56, and it couldn't make it by that 25 and change number. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and that's well, been going I'm on thinking, for a while because that's that's how this signal gets generated. Actually, that this strength, underlying strength in that market, right? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, this this is kind of saying that probably the gold stocks finally are going to start being stronger than the gold market is, or gold commodity or the yes. gold metal market. Right. So I'm I'm thinking there's a lot of energy or a lot of stocks that are going to be. You know, back in 2000, I mean, you could throw in a, a dart at a gold stock, you know, on a map somewhere. That's a and fact. it went up 100%. It you did. Know? It didn't take any brains to make money back then. It did. And I'm, I'm thinking we're, we're kind of, I think we're entering in that kind of a same scenario. Yeah, no. Because since yeah. just 20 years ago. Right. Well, you know what happened? You saw those small caps take off like a rocket ship. And, you know, what happens, folks, is that a lot of those small things, Cap stocks, a commodity, small commodity stocks, you know. So I haven't done the work on it, but I suspect that that's what you saw because, you know, when you get a $2 stock, of course, that, you know, goes to 250 well, guess what? Percentage-wise, that is a monster move, you know. And, and those small caps, that IWM, move like beyond belief. But, you know, a lot of it was the smaller ones. Okay, yeah, so I, I brought up the, yeah. I get the, the sure, last sure. chart here, yes. No, chart chart five. Uh, chart five. Yeah. What we're talking about is is the middle window there. This is H E Y gold ratio. We could do it on the yes. X A U gold ratio, but this ratio hasn't really moved since 2016. It's just gone sideways here. We finally did break that blue trend line going back to the 2006 high, and we're finally above it. So we're, we're now gold stocks are starting to outperform gold. Still in a small way, but when I want to point out on this, I do the RSI of the XAU gold ratio, and this is a weekly chart. And when that RSI of that gold HUI gold ratio gets above 70, or actually is really about 75, you usually get a consolidation, a near mid term type consolidation. In other words, a multi week, even a couple of months uh, consolidation. And I marked all those times. Uh, on the top window is the HUI. I can see and that. All those yep. circled in reds are, are times you had uh, the RSI got above 70. So that's one thing I'll be looking for as as this market keeps rallying. Right now we're about 64 okay. on the RSI. So we got we got room to run. Uh, so nothing. But if it goes up too fast, the RSI will get up to around you know 70, 75. They'll be late in the game, so yes. strength always comes kind of the end of the rally. So when things are too good to be true, chances are it's, it will be too good to be true. All right. So, wow. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, we'll worry about that later. We got we got one more chart here. Yep. We got time to cover. We have time. We got a full minute. And I got the chart up. Go All ahead. Right. Yep. Uh, this is just a short-term trend. Actually, I've been using an 18-day average, and I kind of flip back and forth between a 15-day average and an 18-day average. A 15 right now is working a little bit better, and the bottom window is a 15-day average up-down volume. Next window higher is the 15-day uh, average advanced decline. And along those two indicators hold above minus 10, which they have been since uh, March, the uptrend's intact. So hey. we're not even close to minus 10. No. So I think on a, even on a short-term basis here, we still have room to run. It's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, Tim, we appreciate the education, and we uh, look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday, on Thursday, rather. All right. See okay, you man. Love you guys. Have a great one. Have a safe right. one. Love you, man. Thank you so much. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industrials right now down 48. You get the Nasdaq off six. S and P's are down 10. And folks, uh, don't forget, we got a man, Mr. Basil Chapman, this afternoon right after the close. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see under featured content live trading uh, on August 2nd. So I'm going to be doing live trading on August 2nd, uh, 9 to 12. What we're going to be doing here, folks, is that uh, bottom line is that we're going to be doing end of day options, one day options, okay, which I happen to love. Most traders do, actually. Uh, we're going to do the S&P as well as the NASDAQ futures, as well as the Qs and the SPY. So... We'll wrap the whole thing up, meaning that you have equity traders, futures traders, and options traders. And it's, they're the same trades. That's the real bottom line, okay? The difference with the one-day options, okay, is that the volatility is sweet. Like, just like right now, I started the program, you're at zero, right? On the S&Ps, you're down 14.25. And bottom line, when they can go with you that way, you know, we just had the SPY go from, like, the 55 to the 53, Makes a difference? Yeah, it makes a huge difference, folks, okay? There's no doubt about that. And if we bring this up, you're going to see ES. And on the one-day options, this always gets tricky. I already closed half of my positions on that break. But the bottom line is that when you take this right here, it's like, and you can see, when we were talking about the aspect of more than likely this is the same type of trader, you know, when... I went over this about 30 minutes ago, meaning that you had the first leg down, you get the second leg down, and sure enough, you're getting the third leg down. 
you know, bottom line. And then if we go to the spy and we take a look at the spy, and you get four minutes left. When you take a look at the spy, what you're going to see is this. You're going to see that bottom line, you came down with volume. You went higher yesterday with 43 million. You went higher today with 25 million. That's a market that wants lower price, man. This is going to be obviously a small ABC structure down. Folks, have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off at uh, 9 o'clock. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Then we have Larry coming this Friday, and I'm next Friday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.